AI is about to change the world dramatically, but not in the way you think. Next up isn't mass unemployment, but mass manipulation. The current AIs are gold for scammers, but that's not all there is to it. They're also being used to wield political influence, to sell products and to notch each of your decisions into a direction that someone else prefers. There isn't much we can do to prevent them from trying, but the more we know about it, the better we can avoid falling for it. The reason the current AI's large language models are so good at manipulating us is that they can tailor messages to your specific personal details. They know where you're coming from, probably literally. Where do they get this personal information? Well, from guys like this. Our identity is the most accurate. We address real people, not device or cookies. And we have the highest number of identity points and attributes per person. In the US alone, we see 7,000 individual attributes and 75% of what people buy. Let's meet Lola. Hey, Lola. At a base level, we know who Lola is, what she watches, what she reads, and who she's living with. Through the power of connected identity, we also know who she follows on social media, what she buys online and offline, where she buys, when she buys, and more importantly, why she buys. And there's a lot of money to make from this. Scientists have studied just how convincing AI is. A few months ago, researchers from the University of Zürich deployed 13 bots based on large language models on Reddit's Change My View forum. During that time, the bots posted more than 1,700 comments. Their persuasion rate was six times higher than that of humans. In another recent study, researchers paired human participants with either another human or GPT-4 and asked them to defend their positions on matters such as whether students should wear uniforms or whether government should increase taxes on sugary drinks. When both the humans and the AI were given demographic information, the AI became significantly more persuasive, out-persuading human opponents in 64% of debates. The scientists call this micro-targeting. This is basically the future of marketing and political lobbying. In yet another study that just appeared, AI researchers looked at what they not so subtly call choice engineering with AI. Yes, you heard that right. They want to know how to use AI to engineer the choices that we make. And since there's money to make, you already find examples of this in the real world. Just in May 2025, Google rolled out AI Max for search. If some company wants Wants to place an ad, they can now use AI to automatically adjust the ad so that it fits whatever you were searching for. They say that this increases the number of people who actually make a purchase by 14%. Did you know that I have a free weekly newsletter with some news items that didn't make it into the videos? You can sign up at sabinehossenfelder.com slash newsletter. And then there are the scams. Some examples are outright absurd, like the recent case of a French woman who began chatting online with someone claiming to be Brad Pitt. He sent voice cloned greetings, fake photos, and then, would you have guessed it, asked for money. She lost 800,000 euros. A similar scam was recently pulled off for the actor Martin Henderson. And these are not isolated cases. In a briefing from April, the British Content Authenticity Initiative details how generative AI now produces hyper-realistic dating profiles and dynamically personalized love bombing messages. The US Federal Trade Commission got more than 800,000 reports of imposter fraud in 2024, with a total loss of almost $3 billion. 
Then there is phishing. This is when scammers try to make you submit a password or click on a rotten link. A study that came out in December found that AI-generated phishing mails have a stunning 54% click-through rate on par with human phishing experts. An especially hot AI scam area is currently crypto, where AI is being used to build trust before ripping people off their money, often with fake expert advice. Elon Musk in particular is constantly being deepfaked for crypto scams with amazing offers that lead to websites which will amazingly make your money disappear. In 2024, the FBI's Internet Crime Complaint Center reported 150,000 crypto-related complaints with total losses over $9 billion. And that was before Google rolled out VO3. A consequence of all this is that people People are increasingly questioning what's real. Is this post real? Is this image real? Is this video real? Maybe you've even seen that since I've had trouble with my lip. Some people have claimed I'm an avatar gone wrong. But I swear I'm totally real. Please buy my new crypto coins. That data broker was really quite something. You know that there are actually laws that protect your information from these people, at least to some extent. You can request that your data be removed from their databases, but the problem is that's incredibly time consuming. This is why I'm signed up to Incogni, who have been sponsoring this video. You see, each time you open a website, it'll try to collect data about who you are and where you are and what other websites you've visited. Then they'll go and sell off this information to data brokers who then in return use it to target you with ads from which they collect more data and so on. Incogni automates the process of getting you out of those databases. You sign up and they'll contact the big sinners, request that your personal details be removed. They'll keep on doing that and if you want, send you updates about the progress they're making. I'm glad there's now a simple solution to stop unfriendly people doing nasty things with my personal details. Incogni is super easy to use. You sign up, give them the information they should look for, and they go to work, like within a minute, basically. I now sleep better at night, and maybe I can help you sleep better too. If you use my code Zabina or the custom link in the info below, you'll get 60% off of Incogni. That's an amazing deal, so go and check this out. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.